That nigga really came in here and mentioned a mod from like 2018, 2019. Telling you, man, some niggas are just so fucking stupid. Like, I don't understand what's wrong with these niggas. I really don't. I, like, I, you know, don't you hate it when like somebody brings up somebody you forgot even existed on Earth? Like, <laughs> whether that be like on or off stream, like, don't mention people I. Forgot even existed. The fuck? Nigga telling me to patch it up with a nigga I don't even know. Like, nigga, patch shit up with your motherfucking moms or pops, nigga. Ask them why they made you a backshot baby. And didn't have you acquire zero skills in life. Zero common sense skills. Zero street smarts. The fuck? Patch that shit up. Kids, cuisine ass nigga. Oh, let me see what I got in my book. So yeah, all the people that told me about from um on season three. I remember I'd asked Alexa like a week ago, was the show canceled? For some reason, Alexa said yes, but I guess it was cap. From has been renewed for season four, so that's dope. I mean, I feel like if you're dumb as fuck, your parents definitely just fed you a lot of TV dinners and just gave you a bunch of snacks and junk growing up. So your brain couldn't fully develop the proteins and proper, you know, proper uh, cholesterols and things like that to expand your brain. So you was just one of those L moderated burrito eating ass niggas, hot pocket ass niggas, lunchable ass niggas, colored juice ass niggas, Kool-Aid ass niggas, like... Little Debbie snacks ass niggas like your parents didn't even say anything <laughs> Your parents didn't even like try to do things in moderation. They just dumped shit in the cabinets and said drink it Motherfuckers is drinking cokes with dinner Niggas drinks niggas niggas had a soda and a fucking kids cuisine soda hungry man soda banquet kool-aid banquet Kool-aid hungry man kool-aid kids cuisine kool-aid El Monterey, Kool-Aid Ballpark. You really want to know if your parents gave two fucks about you? I want you to dial back and realize what the fuck they fed you. That should tell you every fucking thing you need to know. Your parents really gave a fuck about you? I swear they don't feed you junk food and have you eating bullshit. All the ghetto kids I knew that were backshot babies... Bro, they refrigerators was full of you go get it ass foods, you go get it ass snacks, you go get it ass juices, I ain't doing shit. Refrigerators full off the EBT, fuck with it. Y'all eat it up, it's over for the month. Home guy, shout out for the prime. I'm just, just really think about that shit for a second. Just think about how your parents fed you growing up. If you're one of those niggas that got processed foods and bullshit, like we like to talk about lunch lease and backshot babies and just pay attention to how your parents fed you. Parents, they gave a fuck about you growing up. You were getting home cooked meals. They wasn't letting you eat junk. You wasn't allowed to gobble up fruit snacks, fruit roll ups. Fucking you didn't get sugary cereals, a bunch of Kool-Aids like, bro, everything I got in life when growing up was in moderation. It was rare. We got snacks rare. We got sugary cereals rare. We had a Kool-Aid. 
rarely have fruit. Like, bro, you know I didn't even try Gushers at home. The first time I tried Gushers was at school. My mom never bought a box of Gushers in my fucking life. Yeah, my mom used to cook all the time. And she worked 24-7 and was a single parent. But still made that shit work. So if you really want to know if your parents gave a fuck about you, all you niggas in chat, just remember how they fed you. Because you you know me. If I had a kid I didn't give a fuck about, I'm going to feed you just how an EBT candidate is getting fed. Fed, you're getting frozen everything, goodies everything, junk everything, juices, Kool-Aids. I ain't cooking a fucking thing for you. Pop that shit in the microwave and eat. I'm not about to be cooking you chicken, grilled chicken, making sure you're eating the proper diet. I, you're a backshot, baby. Like, you don't get special privileges. I'm saving all that shit for the real ones. The fuck? But yeah, though. So every time a dumbass nigga come and chat, most likely it's a fucking frozen TV dinner ass kid. Parents that give a fuck about their kids don't feed them processed foods. Simple. You was a spoiled kid. <laughs> yeah, one of the fucking, um, I found one of these dudes that used to live next to me when I was like, I think I was like five, six. <clears throat> It was some ghetto ass neighbors. It was a triple duplex we used to live in. Landlord in the front, ghetto ass niggas right here in the middle. I'm talking about so ghetto. We used to go over there, the carpet would be infused with hair, like infused with weave hair and braid hair. Like the hair was everywhere. They smoked cigarettes, ghetto, everything. Like straight up hood, LA, all like to the core. We lived in the back. They always had McDonald's on deck. I'm not I'm not bullshitting. They always had McDonald's every day, ghetto ice creams every day, Kool-Aid every day, goodies every day. I used to be so jealous. Cause you know, as a kid, you want McDonald's. No, it wasn't no Section 8 shit, my nigga. No, it wasn't Section 8. Rent was too cheap back then. But they, bro, they always got fast food. You know how many times I remember having McDonald's as a kid? I, I, you know what? No bullshit. I feel like my mom took us to McDonald's one fucking time as a kid. Because I'll never forget because I, I ate, I over ate my fries and she got mad because I ate my fries before we went home. I don't remember going to McDonald's more than one or two times as a child. If I went. It wasn't with my mom. It was with like, if I happened to be with like a different family member or something like that. It, Bro, I remember it used to be the best night living in the city, right? Living in LA, right? And then like you come, like your my mom comes home and there's a pizza. I'm like, it's pizza time. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, there's a pizza. Like, because we never like, oh, I, I didn't grow up off junk food. So, yeah, you could always tell if your parents gave a fuck about you or not how they fed you growing that shit up. If you got a bunch of processed shit growing up, you were a fuck baby. You were a backshot baby. Like most, like most motherfuckers anyway. I believe I was a backshot baby too, but my mom gave a fuck about me. There's a difference. What would I feed an authentic kid? Everything I eat. Meal preps of grilled chicken, a small portion of rice for carbs to fuel them through the day. Nice greenery, whether it be broccoli, mixed vegetables, no prime, no juice, no Kool-Aid. On Fridays, you get a Capri Sun. Any other day, you're getting like, uh, let's see, Thursday, you'll get a vitamin water with your meal. Friday, you'll get a Capri Sun. The rest of the week, all water. Breakfast, egg whites, turkey bacon, oatmeal, or cream of wheat. You choose. No cereal in the house. Nothing. Protein shakes. Like, I would treat my, I would treat a kid I gave a fuck about that was mine like a science experiment. You're getting the best cream of the crops. Make sure you shoot all the way up with your growth spurts. Making sure you're 100% titty fed while you're. While you're growing up as a toddler, you're you're not getting processed formula ghetto EBT milk. You're sucking on titties to make sure you get the full nutrients. 
a back shot, baby. You're getting formula that's, that comes from a fucking factory. I'm, I'm feeding you McDonald's as a toddler. I don't get, like, the fuck? You don't get the best. I think I didn't ask for this shit. You're getting all the bullshit. Like, you, I fed you, right? But yeah, though. Yeah, exactly. Stacks of lunch lease. I'm, I'm also, I would take you to WSS. You don't get the cream of the crop shoes. You're getting all them ghetto ass aftermarket fucking last call Air Maxes. <laughs> You're not getting no J's. If you do, they're Team Jordans. As long as, as long as you don't look like a bum, you're good. I'm just basically doing what I got to do. Get you to 18. Holla. Like, no. Special privileges are for the ones you really, like, the ones you really want. Not back shot, babies. It just get you to 18, bro. Like, the fuck? There ain't no rules to this shit. I get you to 18. Boom. You know another you know another you want to hear another another analogy how you know you weren't planned when your parents start telling you to get a job at 15 16 that's how you know you're a backshot baby too why would your parents need to ask you for rent money think about that shit for a second if you were planned properly why the fuck are you growing up to be a young adult and your fucking your parents are telling you to get a job or pay rent money you fuck to have me you're telling me to pay rent? You know why? You were a back shot, baby. You, if you, also, if you didn't get along with your parents growing up, you're a back shot, baby. How do you not get along with your parents? You're a back shot, baby. They got some sort of envy towards you. You feel that. Now you got envy towards them. The relationship was never solid. Sunday, shout out for the seven months. Yeah. You say you got kicked out at 18. Hold on. You got kicked out of 18 on your 18 B day because you lost your job. You were a back shot, baby. See what I'm saying? It's all it meant is that you were an accident. You know, if you weren't, your parents would have had their shit together properly prepared for your ass. So you don't got to fucking get no job. I and mean, if you, if you want to work cool, but it's not required for you, as long as you're working towards something, it's not required for you to slave over, you know what I'm saying? Fucking stacking up shelves and fucking, <laughs> You know, fucking flipping burgers and slaving. Like, who wants to, who wants to see their, their kid that give a fuck about do that? Uh, not those kind. Category change is still broke. I got you. Yeah, let me do it. You said you got kicked out at 19 because you didn't say happy B-Day to your mom. You got to be trolling. That's because your parents gave a fuck about your parents give a fuck. You weren't a back shot, baby. You were probably created out of nice, hot, passionate sex. And your dad probably liked your mom, vice versa. That's why you're allowed to stay home and stack. Let's be real. If you had a back shot, baby, nigga, you want him out as soon as possible. You not stand, you man, get the fuck out of here. Like, the fuck, I did my job, exit. Like, nah, bro, like, get the fuck. But a baby you had through passionate sex from a chick you actually gave a fuck about or loved or was in a cool relationship. Oh no, you can stay home just, as long as you're doing something, rent, don't worry about it, it's difficult out there. It's not a big deal. Stay here, I want you to stack up, I want you to succeed, and when you're ready to leave, you can. Think about that shit, man. I just want you guys to think about if you were back shot babies or not. Pretty much your mom, exactly, because you were created out of passionate sex. Your mom liked your dad. Your dad liked your mom. She was happy to bust you out of her vagina. You said you was a back shot baby. Your dad wanted to abort you. Your mom said no. I mean... Yo, Sunday with the 10 gift test out? Oh. Shit. Hey, big salute Sunday for the fucking 10 candies.
Thank you for that. Oh, look. You want to know? Look, I'm going to just keep smashing in you guys' face. You want to know how you were a backshot baby too? And that one of your parents or both of your parents really didn't want to have you? Your birthdays were ass. Because let's be real. Kids that are playing, their parents go be of it above and beyond to make sure their kids got the best birthdays. Your birthdays was ass? Backshot, baby. Christmas was ass? Backshot, baby. <laughs> no car at, be, no car before 18 as a gift from your parents? Backshot, baby. <laughs> Should you stop caring at 11? Yeah, exactly. Because you realize it's a lost cause, bro. You realize it's a lost cause. Once you get a certain age and you realize, like, obviously your childhood is not normal, as as you would like to see it on a on a sitcom or, you know, we grew up watching sitcoms, you know, some of us where it was like the perfect family. I mean, you know what time it is at a certain age. You should know by 11 or 12 if your life is ass, <laughs> if your childhood is, is mediocre. You should already know what's good. If you're wearing the same fucking pair of shoes for five, six months out the year, didn't get a new pair, you know what time it is. Your clothes are ass. You know what time it is. Like, you, you know, you shopping at your parents shopping at thrift stores with you. You know what time it is. You say Cardi drop. All right. What do you do after accepting your back shot, baby? Break the cycle. Fuck bitches you actually like. <laughs> Don't be bending over scallywags. You say your cousin's parents are not together and they kicked them out at 18 and my mom worked 12 hour shifts, put you through expensive tutorings. Exactly. You know what time it is. Why would a parent kick their kid out at 18 if they actually wanted to have them? Bro, they was just, they just, they just was like, oh, this motherfucker almost, oh yes, he's, damn, Jacob's almost grown. Yes, 17, ah. One more year and this motherfucker's out of here. You said a Cardi drop. Probably mid. Is it this play this different shit? You think it's a black thing? Yeah, blacks always kick their kids out at 15 and 20. Yup. <laughs> yup. So this is the track? Or... And yet you niggas still want to fuck black chicks. If you're a black man that got kicked out by your black mom, why would you fuck a black chick and repeat the cycle? Get you a different chick from ethnicity that's actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, 